This is Ash News TV. I'm Rachel Kopchak, and I'm joined now by Dr. Tom Gans. He was selected to be this year's E. Donald Thomas Lecturer. Congratulations. Thank you very much. You mentioned you accidentally became an iron biologist. How did that happen? Uh, I was working on another problem. I was doing some studies in innate immunity in uh, humans, in the urinary tract, and I found a new peptide, and the peptide was hepcidin. And from then on, I had to figure out what hepcidin was doing. And so I ended up studying iron biology. I had to go back to the textbooks and um, learn all about iron. It was very exciting. And give us a little recap of your lecture that you gave here today. So, so today I discussed how iron is regulated in the body, how its distribution, absorption in the gut, um, absorption from the diet is regulated. And I talked about the hormone hepcidin and, and its interaction with its target, ferroportin, and how the system is regulated after a bleed, after an infection, or during normal variations in iron uptake from the diet. And share a little more about the breakthroughs that you've uncovered in regards to all of that. So I was very lucky. I um, got to work on discoveries of several different important peptides. The first set was uh, the discovery of defensins, which I worked on in my mentor's lab, Bob Lehrer's lab. The second was hepcidin, which was the iron regulatory hormone. And the third one was this new substance called erythroferone, which uh, was discovered by postdoc in my lab, Leon Kautz, and which is a red cell-derived regulator of hepcidin that in turn regulates iron. And in the future, what other research needs to be done? Well, right now our first agenda is to regulate, uh, so find out how um, erythroferone regulates hepcidin, what the receptor for erythroferone is, how it signals, and how it works on the liver cell. And th that's what we're focusing on right now. But in the greater picture, th there are many more molecules in this space that need to be identified and, and we need to understand how they work. And so this is a multi-lifetime employment opportunity for me <laughs> and for my successors and colleagues. There's always more work to be done. Yes. What does it mean to you to be selected to give the E. Donald Thomas lecture? Um, I, I'm totally humbled by this because E. Donald Thomas was a, was a giant and I don't use that word lightly. He, he was a man who took something that everybody thought was impossible to do, which is to take bone marrow from one human being and give it to another human being. Everybody knew it, it, it couldn't be done. And he, through very careful experimentation, um, showed that it could be done and saved countless lives, uh, countless lives by doing it. So he, he was a real hero, and to ha give a lecture that's named after him is just uh, profoundly humbling. And what does it mean to you to be a part of ASH? Oh, ASH is uh, special in my life because I'm not a hematologist, believe it or not. I, I, I am trained as a pulmonary critical care physician. And um, I'm an amateur of hematology. I do it for love. And um, these people accepted me. They accepted an outsider who was not a hematologist. And in fact, they even gave me an award. I mean, I'm totally, I'm totally bowled over by the whole thing. Great. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you.